Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Don't be mean. <clears throat> the Department of Environment and Local Government accepted an application starting today for the Environmental Trust Fund for 23-24. <clears throat> Excuse me. Application will be accepted starting today for municipalities, community groups, First Nations, nonprofit organizations, and institutions furthering uh, environmental sustainability may apply. We're so fortunate to live in a province that has diverse natural environments, breathtaking coastal and inland scenery, and people who work tirelessly to ensure it can be enjoyed by generations to come. For more than 30 years, this fund <clears throat> has fostered environmental awareness among residents of all ages. It's brought people together to make important and sustainable differences to the natural environment. The Environmental Trust Fund has five areas, priority areas, <clears throat> they are protecting the environment, increasing environmental awareness, managing our waste, addressing climate change, and building sustainable communities. These are examples, there are many more examples of this in the second Environmental Trust Fund Impact Report, which is online now. These outcomes show what a difference can be achieved. For example, important progress has been made in addressing marine debris, nutrient overload in coastal waters. Many students from across the province have benefited from educational plans and on the climate change outside learning experience, outside learning experiences and other programming. Implementation of climate adaptation plans for communities and organized public education activities that build resiliency. Please take time to read about the amazing work being done in New Brunswick. And Mr. Speaker, I want to thank everyone who has turned an idea into reality. I also want to thank the team in environment and climate change <clears throat> who work with proponents to ensure these projects are successful. Let's continue to work together to protect, protect our shared environment. And don't forget the deadline, November 30th. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sure.